Hello everyone, Chess and Wine here. What I'd like to do with you tonight is a video market wrap up of the S&P 500. Uh, as I said before, if you haven't seen any of my videos or read my posts, uh, I think it's extremely important to be cognizant of, of the short term and intermediate terms uh, term moves of, of the S&P 500 uh, as a proxy for the broad market because I think it's a much better indicator than the Dow Jones Industrial Average uh, and also because in my opinion, 7 out of 10 stocks on average move in concert with the broad market. So I think you really do need to respect uh, any changes ever so subtle in, in the S&P 500. And, and to the past few days, uh, it, it, we've seen what I would call kind of a short-term breakdown. Uh, now, whether that materializes in, into, into something more, that remains to be seen. But last week I noted that I was pleased to see that we successfully tested the 20-day moving average twice. However, I, I also gave this caveat that what well, you'd like to see at a moving average, especially uh, the 20-day moving average, which uh, more so than the 50, 100, and 200-day moving averages, is you'd like to see dip buyers rush in pretty quickly and aggressively and keep and bid the market back up. I mean, it's, it's very healthy and good to test the 20-day moving average or even slightly break below it, but what you'd like to see is a quick back up. So, in other words, one of the worst possible things you want to see if you're bullish is this kind of churning and kind of overall hanging out at the moving average because that's really not what you that's really not the, the purpose of, of a moving average from a bullish perspective and if, the idea is that eventually if you keep hanging out and you churn it momentum wanes and eventually the bears are able to seize control and they can short more confidently and that's really what we've seen in these past few days uh, and in fact the title of my market wrap up my post on Monday night was churn baby churn because I felt like this churning w was not really a good harbinger of things to come and, and as you know as Faye would have it on Tuesday with all the uh, theatrics going on in Washington DC not to mention uh, Europe essentially falling apart um, uh, or the fear of that happening uh, sort of coming to fruition we had this huge big volume down day by all by all counts, a technical distribution day. The big boys are selling, and this wasn't just you know uh, some football fathers and soccer moms selling here. This was a big, big boys were selling here. And then today we follow up with, uh, look, I mean I recognize that, that some people were excited that we didn't fall uh, down hard again today, but all things considered, we're st we're kind of pinned right below the 20 day moving average. Uh, which is at 1195 or, or 1196. Let me give you a precise reading here. It's at 11. Yeah, it's, it's two cents, but two ticks below 1196, and we're at 1191. So you really want to watch out for the phenomenon of prior support becoming current resistance, uh, and and of course for the short and even intermediate term, that would turn your disposition, your bias. I think would would turn to more of a bearish stance, uh, and as such. Uh, the best strategy I have right now is that if you are, are all in long or you're mostly long, uh, the best strategy I think is to cut your laggards and raise cash with your laggards. I, I, this is probably not a time to, or it's never a time to panic and, and liquidate your whole portfolio, but, but you really want to look at those laggards in terms of raising cash because if your laggards were underperforming as we had this uptrend here, and this was a very steep uptrend since early February, uh, I'm almost certain that your laggards will break your heart twice as, twice as much if we get a, a, a steep correction here. So over the next few days, you really want to keep out for whether we can retake this 20-day moving average and even the psychological 1,200 level. Uh, because if we can, and we kind of churn here for a couple more days, we'll, we'll be setting up what's called a bear flag, which is just a continuation pattern before we make our next move down. And it will reinforce to the market this idea that, again, prior, re prior support is now current resistance and that's only going to set us up for another leg down uh, now it's nothing to, to freak out about we have plenty of layers of support here 1150 you know all, all the major moving averages below us uh, but as far as the short term uh, I, I'll reiterate I still think you should have more cash than usual on hand maybe even some short hedges at this point and you definitely want to cut your laggards but you can have some select longs my favorite long is Smith & Wesson thank you